Kawhi Leonard has emerged as one of the top NBA superstars for all the right reasons. He's not on social media, he doesn't talk trash, and he doesn't play into the media's antagonistic questions. But you don't, you probably don't have as much popular fame as some other guys like LeBron and Steph Curry. Do you prefer to fly under the radar a little? Does it ever bother you that you don't have as much notoriety as some other guys? No, I mean, I'm not playing a game for that reason. You know, I'm out here playing to have fun and trying to be the best player I could be. This dude is so anti-status quo that he chose to sign a promotional deal with New Balance over Nike. You stupid. <laughs> this ain't Burberry. <laughs> new Balance. It is, it's New Balance. <laughs> Despite his low-key and soft-spoken demeanor, we all know who Kawhi is because of the way in which he dominates in competition on the basketball court. In this mindset breakdown, I'm going to let Kawhi share in his own words what gives him the mental edge and allows him to perform his best in the biggest moments. Waiters attach to Leonard. Here comes Tony Parker. Oh, no. Ducks inside. Set the pass. Leonard fires. Oh, he hit him. For the purpose of this video, I'll be focusing on five mindset principles in particular, and we'll be sharing those now. Principle one, have fun. Kawhi is clearly intrinsically motivated. He doesn't play basketball to be famous. He plays basketball because it's fun. I'm out here playing to have fun. A big reason why Kawhi has excelled so much is due to his intrinsic motivation to have fun. Kawhi, the fun guy. Are you having fun or is this all business? Um, no, basketball is fun, you know. Um, you know, you grasp it as a little kid and you end up taking an entrance in it and, you know, just been, you know, having fun with friends and family the whole time. This fuels him to train harder and be better because he genuinely enjoys the process. Although Kawhi Leonard isn't portrayed by the media as the most fun dude in the world, it makes sense to me why he described himself as a fun guy. He literally plays basketball for a living. This is a dream shared by so many kids around the world and he's getting to do that at the highest level. And what would you like people to know about you? Uh, I'm a fun guy. Uh, obviously, I love the game of basketball. Principle two, be present. To play your best in basketball, or do anything else for that matter, you need to be completely locked into the present moment. This is something Kawhi talks about a lot. I want to focus on this team, uh, this journey that we have in front of us today, and uh, just stay in a present time and not look back. He's even gone so far to talk about the pitfalls of thinking too far into the future. Um, we all want to win. And if you look in, in the future, you're gonna, you know, trip over the present, so. Living in the present moment is something that Kawhi brings into all aspects of his life, not just basketball. And it's probably why you don't hear too much from him on social media. We, we spend so much time playing basketball and being around, you know, people all day. I'd rather just be at home and my off time going towards, you know, my family or my friends. Nice. Enjoying that moment, man, living life, not through a, a phone. Principle three, maintain equanimity. Equanimity is a mindset and state of being that requires you to stay mentally calm and composed, never too high and never too low. If I have ever seen a basketball player who embodies equanimity, it's definitely Kawhi Leonard. You have a never get too high, never get too low mentality on the court. Where did you learn that? I mean, it's all, all the way back with the Spurs when you guarded LeBron, you had no emotion, no reaction. You just you just did your job. Where, where did you get that from? My experiences and the key and just just keep moving forward and just have fun. Like I said, um, it's just basketball at this point. And, you know, when lose a job, still going to be living, still got a family. And th this is all for fun. Maintaining equanimity doesn't mean you are any less confident either. It just means you know who you are. So you don't need to prove yourself to anyone. No, not really. No. I'm alright, man. No, so, no. You, uh, you think you're cool? Like you, you, you got, you got, you smooth. You got, you know, swing. You think that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Before the season started, Kawhi was being asked about his off-season recovery and his expectations for the upcoming year. Here was his response. Last year, just rehabbing, um, focusing on myself, trying to get better, and uh, you know that, that was pretty much it. And just took it day by day, just trying to you know attack each day, seeing how I'm feeling. Uh, am, am I getting better or not? And like, like, like I said, taking it day by day, now I'm here. Kawhi's ability to maintain equanimity during his recovery allowed him to stay present during the process and just get better day by day until he was finally healthy. 
Principle 4. Don't compare yourself. One thing you gotta love about Kawhi is that he is who he is and he doesn't try to be something else to live up to other people's expectations. A great example of this is when the media was giving him a hard time for the way he laughs. Have you, wor have you worked on the laugh at all since media day? Not at all. I mean, I must laugh how I laugh and, um, you know, it's hard to laugh great through a speaker. My voice is already deep. So you let everybody have fun when it doesn't bother me at all. That's who I am. During his recent playoff run, the media also tried to get Kawhi to compare his performance to his competitors, and here's what he had to say in response. I mean, I don't know how to just compare myself against him. I don't really do that. Um, in my opinion, a big contributing factor that helps Kawhi avoid comparing himself is the fact that he's not on social media. So, you got no social media, no Twitter, no Facebook, and you don't tell me you don't have no burner account? No. Come on, why? It's okay. What do I need a burner account I, for? Uh, I might as well I have a Just real to, to see what is going on. No? No, I don't. I don't. You see me on Instagram or something? Kawhi understands that greatness comes from striving to be his best, not trying to live up to someone else's best. This gives him a huge upper hand in basketball and life. Principle 5. Play to win. Kawhi isn't the kind of dude who wants a personal accolades. He is simply trying to be his best so his team can win. So I just said you're the best player in the league and he plays in Toronto. What does it feel like to hear that said about you and how do you feel you've established yourself in that position during this playoff run? Uh, I mean, I don't really judge my, you know, game like that. Um, I'm more of a team, team aspect, see what my team is doing. Just want to win. I don't, I don't care about being the best player. Constantly, he gets asked about his personal performance and he always reverts back to the most important thing, which is winning today's game. Just wanting to win throughout the season. That's You come in the playoffs with the same mindset. Want to win. You know, I want to win today's game. I want to win today's game. And I feel like, uh, you know, just having that carryover pretty much helps me or helps your team or players that get in this position. At the end of the day, Kawhi Leonard has been so successful because he is committed to helping his team win, no matter what his personal role in that might look like. His coaches have said the same thing about him, and so have his teammates. He may be quiet, but his actions speak much louder than his words ever could. We can all learn something from the way Kawhi Leonard approaches basketball and life. Here's a quick recap of the mindset principles I've seen him utilize best throughout his career. Have fun, be present, maintain equanimity, don't compare yourself, and play to win. Thanks so much for tuning in to this Mindset Breakdown. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and leave your feedback in the comment section below. My name is Brandon Epstein from The Be Mindset reminding you to be present and be your best.